Hi guys, you're welcome to the Laurel Studios. You're still on the Android UI. What about we'll be talking about the context menu in Android uh, UI? Uh, this library is actually uh, developed from the uh, Yalantis. Uh, they actually developed the side menu. Uh, but this uh, context menu is actually uh, beautiful. Whereby you can easily add awesome animated context menu to your mobile application in Android. I'll be moving straight to Android Studio where I'll be explaining uh, the source files and details and I'll be showing you how to integrate uh, the context menu library into your application and call on uh, uh, the, the tags in the, the uh, XMLs and actually instantiate them right in the Java classes. Right in Android Studio, I have my Gradle scripts. I need to expand this to have the build gradle model app session let's get to look at uh, the library included we have the compile com dot yalantis context menu 1.0.7 you know uh, this uh, particular library is very very important you need to include this in the dependencies after doing that you are you're going to synchronize with gradle and you have it already for you to uh, start calling on the tags calling all the methods involved in this particular library. So I'll be going to the layout. I have the activity main XML, which is the UI of this particular application. I have the linear layout and uh, the Android background, calling the color. We have to add a color to the background menu item background. That's the color name. Uh, we included the layout toolbar. That's the top bar of the application, the toolbar. And we have a frame layout actually holds on to the content we have a send an id to it called container let's get to look at the fragment main xml uh, this is a scroll view tag uh, where we have the field viewport true uh, a linear layout right inside it with the match parent for the weight and height the orientation is vertical and the background is also from the color uh, tag called menu item background we have image view whereby uh, we calling from the drawable photo you know, that's actually a PNG file where the image is actually going to sit uh, the UI a linear layout for follows whereby the uh, weight and height match parents and wrap content respectively the rotation is vertical and the layouts the pattern left right and top are 10 10 and 25 dp a text view right there whereby the text on it is my description and another text view whereby we have a text uh, from the this is going to actually be from the string uh, text you know just to this is a dummy text anyway the closing linear layout another closing one for these are uh, outer linear layout and the closing scroll view let's look at the design view maybe we'll get to see it in a rendering uh, library if not we have to move further uh, to the toolbar xml now this is going to be the bar the toolbar right on top where you're going to have the more or let's say the menu, the menu button at the far right top corner you know and the toolbar is going to sit uh, very very well now we call on the android support version 7 widget toolbar this uh, tag is very important uh, we are sending an id to it called toolbar and we call the theme which is the theme overlay app compact action bar you know that theme that is actually being used a text view is the right uh, on it on the toolbar whereby we have the text view toolbar title so we add a title to the toolbar which is actually going to sit at the middle of the toolbar and uh we have the closing support version 7 with your toolbar that's fine that takes us down to the drawable let's get to look at the drawable files used uh, we use the button add png uh, this is actually a uh, top bar uh, it's actually used at the top bar of the toolbar to actually call on the menus uh, we have button back we have the first icon like uh which are actually depicting the menus of the uh, context menu uh, we have the second or uh, the third fourth fifth and we have the close PNG and also the photo that was used, you know, in the course of the image view. That takes me down to the main activity of this particular application. Let's get to see how 
how we can, we're going to include the, the LNC's uh, library. Actually, call on the context menu dialog fragment, the menu objects, the menu params, uh, the menu parameters, and the on menu item click listener on the interfaces. The same thing goes with on menu item long click listener. That's when you click it by, uh, on the button or probably on an item for a longer time. Uh, you need to call on that's going to be another method being called right on that. Now we have the main activity that extends a compact activity and implements. You no, know, these are all uh, implemented the menu item click listener and the menu item long click listener. Click listener. These are all interfaces from the YLNT's context menu. You can get to see them there. Now we have the private fragment manager and the context menu dialog fragment. We created some uh, objects from the, the menu dialog fragment and the fragment manager. We'll be using this in the course of the uh, source files. The uncreate method, we call on the super uncreate, the layout activity main. Now the fragment manager, we get the support fragment manager method right of it. And the init toolbar, we call on the init menu fragment to get to look at all these methods. And we add a fragment based on the main fragment and we get its ID called container. Now let's get to look at the init menu fragment. This is where we get to uh, get the menu params. Uh, we set the action bar size as the top bar to 56 dp. We set the menu objects and set the closable outside to false. Now the menu dialog fragment. Uh, we get the context menu dialog fragment. We instantiate with the new keyword. Uh, we set the item click listener on these and also the item long click, click listeners on the menu dialog fragment. We have the get menu objects itself. This is the list generic, whereby it's, uh, the menu object is passed into this uh, narrow list. We have the close button you know, right there, whereby we call the drawable icon close. We have the menu objects. This is for the send message. We call the drawable as well. Look at this. And this is a like uh, icon. Uh, this is a like profile. We have for the uh, profile itself. Adding new friends, we depict it with this icon of the icon thing. We get the resources, the feedback factory. Same thing goes for the add the public on, you know, which is the fab favorites. And uh, we also have for the block user, we have an icon that depicts that as well. Now we need to add those uh, icons to the menu objects the clothes, the same, the like, the add friend, the add fab. Been the object created from the menu objects. You know, we have to instantiate it with the new keywords, new, new notice. So we created an object from it, at five, at five. So we need to add them up to the menu objects and return the menu objects as a whole. We have the init toolbar. You know, we actually call this method up there too, uh, on the onCreate method, because these are going to be done simultaneously. Now we have the uh, Text view to bar tie to uh, this set. Uh, we get the support action bar. Uh, we set the home button enabled and we set the display home up as up. You know, that's the back button. And also we set the display show tie to. That's why we've been able to have a tie to button low one where we set the text appropriately. Now uh, we need to add a fragment you know, because we'll be talking about the fragments, not majorly activities here now. Because on each button click of menu, there will be a fragment created. How about we get a class, we get the name of the fragment. We have the concrete options menu, calling on the menu of the. Uh, this is where you can actually, this is where we have to actually play the menu. And now we have the on option item selected. Uh, from here, you can extend more on the source file. Probably, uh, you have to have a, uh, uh, let's see. Set up a click listener. This is, if you notice, we did an on menu item click. You know, we have to set up on a sort of menu click listener on each one of those uh, menu created from the context uh, drawable. This is where you can add a case. You know, you can use a case to actually do this. Uh, so if the IDs are particularly uh, assigned to close, saying like a favorite block, you know. 
can easily catch it up here and form an intent to actually take it to probably another activity or you can still maintain the fragment by plating another fragment right on the main activity you know you can actually do that but for now you're going to just have uh, a sort of toast or even the or menu item long if you know if you've been wondering how to uh, create a method called how to have uh, a functionality whereby you click on a longer period on the menu and it's going to give different functionality from when you just have a, a slight click on that particular uh, menu you know this is how to actually catch up this the different methods involved you know from this on menu item long click actually create something different here. You can do, use the case you know to actually pick or you can create a dialogue based on the ID of the menu created or the menu clip. You know the ID is, is, is quite easy. You can get it from the uh, object even uh, created from the menu objects uh, or different icons of the menu. That's very straightforward. I will employ you to use this as a framework for your UI. You know, it's simple and you can even extend more of these. Have a full working application based on this uh, context menu as like uh, a frame layout or like uh, a template for you to actually move on with your other code. Now let's look at the main fragment. This actually extends the fragment. You have the concrete view. However, we have the inflator, the container, and the saved instant state. I will call on the fragment mean you know, this for each fragment so you can decide to create different fragments to hold on to different uh, menu clips. This is just awesome and straightforward. Let me look at the manifest. Probably we have any inclusion. Find the default manifest, nothing uh, included because we've not created or we don't have another activity to actually register. You know, at DP, you have activity register, you need to fix it up right here. You need to register it in your manifest. And if there's other permissions, you need to actually put it right in the manifest. And it must be declared before you compile and build up the application. I'll be uploading this source file to my GitHub account. I'll be showing this in an Android emulator. So stay tuned. Right there, we have the application, the context menu. Uh, this is the toolbar, but we have the back or the, let's say the up button enabled, and we have the, uh, the menu itself for you to click. This is the image view, and this is the text to do the two text views that actually holds on to uh, string uh, values. Now, a click on this particular icon is going to review the uh, context menu and see how it's been reviewed. You know, whether we have the same message, the like profile menu, the app to friends, the app to favorites, and the block users menu. You know, so you can decide to create an activity out of this menu once, once click or once uh, click for a longer time or you can create a fragment, you know, right from this. But actually it's going to be uh, Toast, which uh, was actually done. Now it disappears when you click. Once you need it back, you click on it and it swivels and shows up uh, the context menu. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this uh, session. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye.